it's called TR View. If you Google TR View, you can get a GitHub link for it. Story so far. Oh my god. Volumes. Video. Look how crispy these things are. Keyboard. Actually, I need to disable my display capture a tiny bit. I'm gonna use the AOD inputs. I think these are correct, right? Yeah. Just so nothing can be seen. Accident. I hate display capture on streaming. I'm gonna switch these ones because... Walk. Stealth. Sprint. Cycle weapons, we could put them on a Q&A. No, we could do them on... W A We don't need mouse Story so far, let's go Thinking about my desert family The Bantiwa tribe Who adopted me My mind goes back to the chill of that night in Egypt When I finally fought my way free Of the suffocating tombs I only just made it. On my first meeting, Patai, I never saw her. Blinded as I was and gasping for air, I was barely able to support my own body weight. Suddenly, I was aware that water was being poured into my mouth, spilling down my chin. Gentle fingers were spreading oil on my face and lips. Then I was being lifted and carried to a welcoming campfire. I could smell food, see figures dressed in classic Bedouin attire. Clearly the strangers were awed by my rescuer, whom they addressed as Sidi. Sidi! With me they were cautious, but not unkind. Little did I know that these people would become my people, my family, my cause, and eventually, my greatest loss. The Bantiwa tribe were typical of so many desert people, unassuming and generous of heart. What intrigued me most of all, however, was the fact that the women greatly outnumbered the men. And it was predominantly the women who bore arms in defense of the tribe, something they did superbly, as I was to learn. I befriended Hamia, lead spear of the Mufasi, the first shield warriors, she epitomized everything that was admirable and worthy about the Bantiwa, and we became oath-bonded, sisters in arms. I began to practice fighting skills with her, and we exchanged hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques, learning much from each other. In the months that followed, I was in no hurry to return to the world I had previously been part of. I needed time to get a perspective on what had happened at the tombs, and why no one had come searching for me. For now at least, I was content to travel with the tribe as they made their sedate way along the ancient trade routes of the immense North African plains. It was mostly a peaceful period, despite the inevitable raids by brigands or low-level pilferers. The periods of tranquility allowed me time to become familiar with the ways and speech of my adoptive people. Periodically, we would stop at settlements to trade oils and essences that the Bantiwa produced from the many varieties of plant life that they gathered in remote parts of the arid landscape. These extracts had simple uses, such as perfumes, but most of their oils were intended for healing and were highly sought after across the region. I have never met a people who so valued an unremarkable 
and inconspicuous appearance. They were Spartan in their simplicity. Even their name, Bantiwa, translated as restraint or moderation. In time I understood how this was all a disguise, a ruse. The Bantiwa were guardians of a great secret, centred on an extraordinary botanical specimen, the Shimalau, or Night's Tears. This plant was totally unique in its healing properties Thanks, and was Thanks revered and protected by the Bantiwa, almost as if it was their very room, hey, their soul. Several weeks after journeying far from the pyramids, I spotted a child playing with a battered old rucksack. Of course I recognised it as my own, but knew instinctively that it had no part in my new life here in the desert. I let her keep it. Run-ins with scavengers were a norm of existence in the desert. Most were nothing to be overly concerned about, even with Western mercenaries and legionnaire deserters making their presence felt in the region. Then, everything about my new existence took an uncanny twist the night we were attacked by a rival tribe led by a brute named Scar. He was what is called Rua Azalam, Dark Soul, amongst the Bedouin and was known to be in cahoots with some obscure western conglomerate, staking a claim in hey, the please. area. I'm trying to follow this story. On the night in question, Scar's brigands ripped their way into three of our main storage tents. The Mufasi responded instantly, engaging the invaders in silent close-quarter fighting that was savage and merciless. I fought my way to Scar and tackled him head-on. He was powerful, but blinded by his own rage. And I chopped him up a bit before delivering deep slices across both leg tendons. He went down, but was instantly surrounded by a phalanx of heavily armed bedding. So I couldn't get to him to finish the job. Killjoys. He was dragged off cursing. We had dead and wounded to take care of. So there was no sense of jubilation at Scar's defeat. As we prepared to decamp and make ourselves scarce, I found myself surrounded by a circle of smiling faces. Friends, tribal elders, and people I knew well. They addressed me as El Hawa, Desert Wind for the very first time. Patai, standing in the shadows, raised a palm in greeting, or blessing. I have never felt so accepted into a people's way of life. I now had two tribal names, El Hawa and Ushani, a private name used by Patai whenever we were alone. The tale of Scar's defeat spread quickly throughout the region. Of course, in his version, he had fought magnificently against a demonic figure, possibly even some kind of enraged angelic being, a Muakib. Muakib. I realised that this pretentious blustering was something that could be used to our advantage. I began leading select groups of Mufasi fighters on stealth sorties against potential raiders. This was intended to enhance the growing El Hawa myth, Muakib. rather than to inflict any serious damage, although there were often casualties. I had been presented by the tribe with a new Bedouin robe and cloak of a deep ocean blue. This distinctive garb came to identify El Hawa wherever and whenever she appeared. The legend of El Hawa, clad in ghostly blue robes, grew exponentially and took on mythic proportions. And rumours spread, the Bantiwa are protected by an avenging angel. Give them a wide berth. Over the unfolding seasons, I lost all track of time. To be honest, I'd given up on my former life I had found a place in the world that suited me perfectly. Periodically, we rested up in one of the tribe's sanctuary retreats. Usually a concealed cave system, of which there were many scattered across the region. Here we could recuperate, make necessary repairs, and celebrate in the tribe's own unique fashion. These underground realms were a marvel to explore. I came across many ancient carvings and artefacts, caverns filled with the shattered remains of ruined settlements. These places had long been lost to history, and I had an exclusive access to them. 
I was in heaven. Patai allowed me to see the distilling chambers where the healing oils were extracted. An astonishing sight, somewhat reminiscent of an ancient alchemist laboratory, or so I'd imagine. The weaving chambers, too, were a marvel. This was where the tribesfolk produced subtle glowing tapestries, patterned with landscapes and symbolic figures. The Bantiwa had no form of written language, and these weavings were a record of their unique tribal history. It was pointed out to me how the recurrent symbol for the sacred Shimalau occurred not only in the ornate patterning of the tapestries, but on clothing, on amulets, engraved on weapons, hidden amongst everyday objects. It was everywhere, once I knew what to look for. My instincts were on high alert, telling me that I was on the periphery of some stunning revelation, no doubt of it. Something profound and far-reaching existed at the heart of this outwardly unremarkable people. But what? At this stage, I got no more than hints and veiled references. I overheard mention of Shimalao's sixth oil, whilst the elders discussed the ever-intrusive Westerners, who were ruthlessly seeking the origins of an elixir oil. What? An elixir? Patai, in her imperturbable way, would not satisfy my curiosity. I must learn to be patient, she advised. Good grief! I was doing my best! I burned off my excess energies by leading sorties as El Hawa, or by exploring this astonishing region of the world, so richly endowed with historic ruins and unknown sites. I was making discoveries that any archaeologist would have willingly assassinated Napoleon to be part of. I'm glad to say that my mastery of their unique language was improving. To my delight, the elders declared me blood daughter of the tribe. Now I truly belonged. I was truly Bantiwa. Also in due time, I was initiated into the mysteries of the miraculous elixir, or sixth oil of the Shimalau. Patai said I was ready, but that is all I will share of such matters in this account. Not a whisper of Shimalau law must ever be known outside the tribe. For all Bantiwa, this is the unbreakable law. From time to time, I caught a glimpse of my old rucksack being played with amongst the tents, which would set me to thinking about the life I had disowned, or had disowned me. My English origins still had claim on me, though not in the way that my current life had. There was unfinished business back there. I knew it. I discussed this with Patai and the elders, as well as friends. As El Hawa, I felt a duty of protection for my adopted family. The Bantiwa were perfectly capable of protecting themselves, exactly as they had before I joined them, in my desperate and bedraggled state. I would be missed, yes, but it would not be a permanent absence. I would return once things were sorted out in the UK. The decision was made. I would travel to England and return here as soon as possible. There was much emotional leave-taking, the memory of which still affects me deeply. As I walked from the encampment, Patai appeared, indicating that she was to travel with me to the coast. Thus we had plenty of time for easy, companionable exchanges over the next few days. When the time came to part, she held my eyes and handed me a small leather pouch. It contained an amulet on a thin silver chain. Her final words to me are burned onto my heart. The return to my ancestral homeland went smoothly enough, but I felt desperately out of place. Family solicitors had to sort out the fact that I wasn't actually dead, but I couldn't have cared less either way. My waking hours and my dreams were populated with faces and events that were now thousands of miles away. As for Von Croy, I'd get around to him in my own good time. Nothing here in my old life fired up any real sense of purpose anymore. Then came news that left me devastated. News of an incident in the desert. The word that the Bantiwa had been massacred, wiped out, leaving no trace. My mind raced. Was this the work of Scar? 
or legionnaire deserters, or western prospectors, mercenaries. I was desolate, worse than when I emerged from the pyramid ruins. Where had Patai been when all of this had taken place? It didn't make sense. In the middle of my mental turmoil, a seed of doubt took root in my mind. My thoughts took a different track. How on earth had they been taken so completely by surprise? It was unthinkable. Constant vigilance was the principle all Bantiwa lived by. That and their superlative combat skills would have protected them, surely. No, the report could not be true. I simply had to uncover the truth for myself. I could be in the region within 36 hours, initiate my own investigation. That's one thing I have the t-shirt for, digging into the past to uncover buried truths. If Scar wasn't the one responsible, he would know who was. I owed him a visit, possibly as El Hauer. That'd make the old goat face talk. I was ready to leave, which was when I heard from Von Croy in Paris. He was asking for my help. Yeah, my help. I could take a detour via Paris and treat the spineless Iscariot to a piece of my mind, which of course is where things took a turn all of their own. No one in their wildest dreams could have predicted how that would turn out. Actually, pretty well done. Like, the, all the stuff is, like, very cool. Also, I need to put... Local recording on. Hey, you see? Yeah, I, that was really fun. I like that one a lot, actually. Yeah, Yulia, I heard. I, that's why I'm like local recording, so the VOD won't get. Even if the VOD gets muted, I will have the. Uh, problem is none of this is in AOD. I, that's why I'm like local recording, so the VOD won't get. Even if the VOD gets muted, I will have the. Uh, problem is none of this is in AOD. Yeah, well, there could be loads of reasons. But let's go. I really like that. Me, I need you to get something for me. Art style was really good, go and the storytelling. I'm tracking I think. five obscure paintings for a client called Eckhart, but he's a psychopath. Why should I care? Because I'm being stalked. People are dying out there. Handle it, Werner. I had to when you abandoned me in the tombs. Lana, please. Look, go and see this woman, Carvier. She can help. I'm going. Egypt, oh. Werner. You walked away and left me. Get out! Thank <laughs> you. 
large meta. Very cool, very cool. This looks like a safe area. But I need to find a way out. To move around, use the cursor keys. Tap the warp button once to lock me into warp mode. Tap it again to return me to warp mode. To sidestep, press the right or left cursor key whilst holding the warp. Oh, the controls are kind of weird. I think the co uh, keyboard, the uh, controller would be easier. Because now the camera... Mm. Let's see if they switch to camera related. Switch to tank controls. Yes, that's better for me. Thank you. Yeah, I like that idea that you can have two different... It's just because I'm used to it. Hmm. That bin looks climbable. To climb onto the bin to grab the balcony, walk to the edge of the bin and press the jump key. Then press the up cursor key to climb this. This is my fa one of my favorite games, so. To jump it, walk to the edge and stop. Remember, holding the walk key will stop me from falling off. Now press the jump button and the up cursor key at the same time. Look at that. It's mad. To climb the ladder, stand facing Wait, what? and press the up cursor key. That's a new area because you can't get there normally. Probably a phone or something, Mungo. To get off, press the left cursor key. I can check this apartment out and get out of the rain. Walk up to the window and press the up cursor key. I think the game knew how to deal with that landing on top of that thing. What's the load key for this? Controls are way better. Okay, that one is, yeah, F9. Thank you. Yeah, there is lo quick load. It always was. I just don't remember if I rebinded it some key. <laughs> Your real legs, how's it going? We're playing some AOD here. The jump to that canopy looks challenging, but I think I can make it. Walk to the edge and stop. I haven't tested glitches. Because we are not about now glitching here. Walk up to the right, press the roll button. Now press up cursor and jump together. Walk up, press the roll button to perform a 180 degree roll. I 
I can hop to the other side. Dude, these controls are so much better already. You can actually do shit. But they weren't unlocked yet, at least. I tried them. But there's an item which I can access to. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can get there somehow. Don't keep me hanging around. I need to reach the roof before I lose my grip. Now I've got my strength back, I can shimmy around that corner. Dude, I can't wait when the full game is like this. I will be playing it 100%. Made it. No time to waste. I need to get to Why does it still look weird? What do you mean weird as in like could be something useful in there. I need a way to prise those doors open. To move the barrel, stand next to it, then press and hold action. Then press the up or down cursor key to push or pull the barrel. There's a crowbar down there. Hmm, that'll come in useful. To hang from the edge of the building. I can't remember how to, to skip the these inputs though. Action. To make me let go, press action again. Or press the up cursor key to climb back up. I need to shimmy to that walkway, but I don't think I'm strong enough yet. Yes, we need to open the door. <gasps> yeah, I like the original game a lot. Stronger now. Maybe I can shoot to that walkway. Get the pistol. I feel stronger now. Wait, that wasn't a pistol. Wasn't it a pistol on? Maybe not. <laughs> can you like climb up? This way. <laughs> Looks like the con no. If you played this, I like let's you. If you play this, the first the original one, and then this, you will realize how much better these are. Like ten times smoother. I'll have a look around whilst I'm here. To look around, press and hold the look button whilst pressing the cursor key. Welcome back, Nikelmi. Welcome back, Hanami. To open drawers and cupboards, stand in front of them and press action. Yeah, the uh, definitive edition demo actually works on full screen mode, which is amazing. Yeah, like she doesn't accelerate anymore. It's so nice. Like not every move takes like three weeks to uh, complete. Five hundred. Pretty sure there was money before. Oops. Hey Milo, how's it going? Uh, if you do shift control backwards from the ledge. Probably crashes the game or something. Huh. You can actually get out of this window as well. It's kind of pog. But like, there's one thing here. Re really, when I get there. Could I save manually just in case I have to come back somehow?
Yeah, there's a door, dog on um, bill like lower. Fuck. I think I'm like tiny bit. That may be better. Wait, did I like call fix these some of these collision stuff? Maybe they did. Like, now you can actually move after, like, jumps. <laughs> now we have strength. See, I'll try it. I'll try it soon. I need to move quietly. There might be more police around. Tap the stealth key and then use the cursor keys to move me around. left or right. I can safely peer around corners whilst hugging the wall. I need to get lower. To crawl, press and hold the duck button. Then use the cursor keys to move me around. What is happening? I stun locked myself. Oh, I got caught. Is this normal? Wait, can you not kill this guy? What? How did she, how did she crouch? Hey, vous là-bas. Suspect après. I fucking saved by accident. I I I think I saved. Hey, vous là-bas. Suspect appréhendé. Oui, vite. And I have a save like so far away. <laughs> oh my god. I accidentally pressed S. <laughs> nice save, yeah, it was perfect. I do love that she can actually run now, rather than like, slow walk for like, half a tile and then start running. Well then like, like now she actually moves. Maybe if you like... That's another save. Backwards. Nice. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, some voice lines were actually re-recorded. They l yeah, they, some of them sound way cl more clear. I need to move quietly. There might be more police around. I just need to know how to skip this thing. And then use the cursor keys to move me around. To hug the wall whilst in stealth mode. Stand next to it and press action. To move me, push left or right. I can safely peer around corners whilst hugging the wall. I need to get lower. To crawl, press and hold the duck button. Then use the cursor keys to move me around. Can I just want to hit this motherfucker? Probably not. Mais tout vient se brouiller. You're the worst. Does the level end here? Egg zero. I could hide in that building. I'll head for the doorway. Okay. Hold on. Police everywhere. I've no weapon, so I must be quiet here. Hey, vous là-bas. Dude, I'm not here. Oh, I didn't. I oh. I don't think you can side flip. Police everywhere. I've no weapon, so I must move quietly here. Where's the cop? Dude, no one is here, okay? Motherfucker, move. Open the door. Police everywhere. I've no weapon, so I must move quietly here. Yes, I know that. <laughs> you do know that. <laughs> but I, I tried to press it, and then I I still tricked it. I think the second one could have worked, maybe. This guy just trolled me. Mais tout vient se brouiller. I'm not the air. Oh, 
Oh, large mat as well. <laughs> oh, this is a movable one. Holy cow. This... I like how he ignored. That was gooey as a clock. It's gave up. <laughs> what? No, he wasn't gooey anymore. <laughs> Won't even let me do my thing here alone. Why is this climbable, by the way? We are exploring the game as it was new. He is not happy, little... He is not happy. And just a quick load and then got rid of it. Maybe he will ignore I'm here. Yeah, no one's here. Yeah, but like, why would I grab it when if I can jump? You know, like, why, why jump on it, like this way? Because like, this platform should be just land, something you can land on. See me. <laughs> All planned up. La voilà. Suspect repéré. Damn it. La suspect dans le bâtiment. Suspect en fuite. Renfort, renfort. kind of funny game now the, I oh nice I remember doing this every single time when I was playing as a kid this 
still come through, it's so easy. It doesn't do even do anything. What do you mean? What the fuck is this guy? Can you just suffocate yourself or something? Why is there a guy there? Oh, this is evil. I'm not going to turn this shit anymore. Wait, they come up. They come. They come in so fast. Okay, maybe we need this shit. Yeah, timing is way different. No one. Is locked. I'll need a key. No one knows I'm here. Don't mind if my if what well, don't mind if my legs are hanging over the edge. I feel stronger now. Pretty sure I can now go to the lower platform, or like le level, and then get the thingy. I'm glad he's still looking. Maybe I need like some key. You can do it, Lara. Demander un hélico. Air support, even. These guys are like. Oh yeah, now you get the apartment key here. Yes. You get an apartment key. Maybe. Elevator work. Whee! Maybe the key it has been changed in that room now. Let's go to three. I can't remember which platform was on.
How do you cancel this shit? Can I use your elevator again? Disengage. Current level, okay. Got to the second one. Oh. What's in here? Oh, it's the other one. Yes, okay, now this is one. Hey Scarlet. This is on the floor, a normal game, on the top floor. Kinda cool that they changed uh, some stuff. Makes it a bit more interesting, honestly. Yeah, there's actually use it, using for this. I think the original game has like, you need to get the strength upgrade and then you can bash it in, but... Not this time. Nice. Yeah, they are way better. Way better. This level, I've never understood how it goes. There's like so many ways to do it. Oh my god, the chopper actually looks like a chopper. That's crazy. Alright, great. Thank you. Hope you have a good evening. Thank you. I'm gonna save here because I don't wanna do the... Uh... Okay, so this one... I think there was anything here. Let's take some chocolate bars. Oh, they do nothing. I really want to see what this is, because I don't remember. Like, I've been here, like, la last time, like, when I played PS2. I do like the sound effects. Alrighty, I'll try to remember. Oh yeah, this place. I do remember it because I was having mass like a lot of trouble with this area. That jump looks too far. 
I'm still a little rusty then. I move the speaker. I think there's a dog or something outside if I remember correctly. I have a gun yet, do I? No. We're exploring everything. Move this. Feels stronger now, right? Maybe not. Most people have never like <laughs> been here. I feel like. Hmm. Maybe I need to pull it, push it all the way or something. Oh, I was like one away. <laughs> I like how they're trying to shoot me, even with the, um... this door. More stuff? Okay. Thank you very much. Dude, this, I don't, I don't know if this staircase was accessible. Maybe it was. But it's like a kid Having a new game again. The stairs are still a bit wonky. It's okay. It's not something uh, true love for the game wouldn't fix. There's stuff I think here, yeah. Can you go in here? Yeah. 
bottom. <laughs> yeah, it is. I like the music as well. We got the ticket to Madame Kavia. Mademoiselle Carvier, it's Lara Croft. I need your help. Miss Croft, I recognize you from photos and Werner's description. Come in. Thank you. Can we steal all the stuff already? Or what can we do here? Mind if I do? Just stealing his rings or her rings and all that shit. Like it's mine. Like, was there something I can pick? An evil night to be out alone, Miss Croft. Our streets are not safe anymore. Mademoiselle Carvier, I have just come from Werner's apartment. And how is Werner? I'm afraid Werner is dead. He's dead. What? Dead. Did you kill him? Yes, and I don't have time to waste. I'm being chased all over Paris. You owe me an explanation. I'm waiting. It's all a bit vague. I arrived at his apartment today from London. He was babbling with fear. He said he tried to contact you. He did. I never expected that. Not after Egypt. Werner has been fearful for his life. He accepted a commission five weeks ago. Since then, he's been acting strangely, jumping the shadows. He even left a package with me for safekeeping. Package? His notebook. Addressed to you. Who was the commission from? The client's name was Erkhart. He wanted Werner to research something called the Obscura Paintings. Werner approached me at my department at the Louvre. Were you, Were you able to help him? A little, I think. Poor Werner was clearly terrified. Werner didn't scare easily. He felt he was being stalked. He could well have been. The Monstrum is running around Paris. According to the press. You mentioned Werner's notebook earlier, mademoiselle. His field notebook. He said he wanted you to have it if anything happened to him. If he left his notebook, he, he was, was spooked. You still haven't explained what happened. There was gunfire. That's all I can recall. Gunfire? Did you kill him? Shot? Did you kill him? I can't remember. It's all a blur. Miss Croft, I strongly suggest that you talk to the police. Mademoiselle, I was a good friend of Werner's. I didn't kill him. I didn't. If you say so. Do you have the notebook? I do. It's safe for the moment. Then I suggest you give it to me now. Somebody killed Werner. <laughs> you say you don't remember clearly what happened. Perhaps the police are right in suspecting you. I never killed Werner. I think you'd better leave, Miss Croft. What about the notebook? I think not. Werner was unsure of you, and so am I. Wow. Mademoiselle, what are you doing? Evil. I decided Bitch. it would be wrong of me to hand over the notebook. I'm going to call the police. My warning is out of respect for Werner's memory. But that's all the chance I'm giving you. Okay, we are going to steal everything you own, miss. You're all heart. Luckily, it's French police, so it takes three weeks to uh, arrive. Like we said, uh, who said it? I can't remember. Railtex?
Where is the notebook? Wait, did I miss it? Not that soon. Oh my god, I, I went already this one. Hold on, let me check. Did I get it? No. Wait. Is this a notebook? I'm sure they don't have GPS on it. Okay, now my one of my favorite level sets or levels or areas in the whole game. Damn, that was uncomfortable. I should complain to the concierge. What on earth did Bernard hey, get Carol. himself into? I better check his notebook. Let's see if I can find any leads. Ooh. Is this your pitch? All Paris is my pitch. Bitch. Any spare change? For a coffee? Maybe. I need to find a man. Then look no further, my petite. This is a particular man. Bouchard. Louis Bouchard. Know him? <clears throat> No, never heard of him. Even for spare change? Go away, I never heard of him. So where could I ask? I could use a coffee, how about you? Try the Café Metro, in the Place d'Arcade. The owner might be able to help you. Knows all kinds of stuff. Sounds like my kind of café. What about a spare change, mademoiselle? I didn't say I had any. Welcome to Paris. What about the spare change, mademoiselle? Are you gonna whack me now? No. I'm going to need cash. I have cash already. Wait, what? Where's me cash, man? I got robbed. Oh, yeah, 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 I thought the coins, like, oops, why am I here? I thought the coins, like, are money. And I was also living under impression that, like, you know in OG, in the first level, you can get, like, money from the drawers when you go through the window. Paris. City of beauty. <laughs> they don't show this in the brochures. I'm gonna go through all the voice lines. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, Hill Sewers. I don't think I've ever picked this thing up. We need to go to Rene's pawn shop. Uh. Fuck you, game. Uh. 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 
I think this is still too not enough. I think. How oh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider? I think it's worth to play at least once. I think this save is death. Pito. Okay, it wasn't death. I thought this grasp wouldn't be like something you can grab. I just made it like 10 times harder. Wait, what? Well, well, never mind. I guess I didn't want to get there anyway. But like, what's the point? I saved. Oh my god. <laughs> nice side flip. You could try that, yeah. Thank you. Hey Eric, thanks for the raid. I'm gonna save here so I don't need to climb up again. Easy. How do you even get back? We're gonna save here. Easy. Yo, yo, Marco. If I could lay anywhere, where would would I? You looking for anything special, little lady? Maybe. So what are you? Snow? A city guide. That's right. I'm a city guide. All tastes and if I don't have to die for. there. Good. I need directions. <laughs> I'm trying to find a man called Bouchard. Do you know him? That's not the healthy kind of question to be asking. Don't tell me Paris is dangerous. Oh, we got all kinds of rough stuff here in Paris, uh, including uh, our own serial killer. Uh, you heard of the Monstrum, huh? Uh, you heard of him. The Monstrum is a him? How do you know that? I don't know what it is, but I'd watch my rear on the streets if I didn't know my way around. Which you obviously do. So how do I find this Bouchard? He won't have time for casual callers. Been having staff problems at his club, I hear. Bouchard runs a club? Yeah, Le Serpent Rouge, flashy joint. Le Serpent Rouge. Why should losing staff be such a big deal? Because these staff are dying on the job, messily, no one knows why or how. You don't think Bouchard's up to handling it? Keep your voice down. Bouchard can handle all he needs to, but this is something different, uh, something creepy. His people uh, didn't die pretty. It's got him really shaken. Is it the monster? Who knows for sure? I just tried to keep my nose clean. You should too. So you've no idea where Bouchard is? No. Well, no. I'm sure someone does. I'll ask around. Yeah, do that. Uh, why don't you try uh, Café Metro? What's a Café Metro? Nothing, man. Only the biggest loser in Paris. It's a joke. Forget it. Let me show you some of our local specialties. No thanks. Welcome back, Kiko, Bianca. Eh? <laughs> That's hard, especially with the cops being so trigger happy. Should I give Bouchard your regards when I find him? No, don't do that. But if you are at a loose end, look me up. I'm sure we could find something diverting for you. You know, uh, something special. 
See you around. See you around. This door is locked. I'll need a key. Yo, Pyro. My favorite character to Not talk to. Not a lot to. of passing trade at this hour. It's early yet. Move along, ma chère. You make the place look crowded. Have you worked in this neighborhood for long? What can I do for you, chérie? I'm looking for someone you might know. Name of Bouchard. You won't find him here, ma chère. He did run the club here on the street. Le Serpent Rouge, but had to move premises. There was a lot of trouble, I heard. Things needed to lie quiet for a while. Oh? Trouble? Lost some of his best people. Very messy business. Made him nervous. And that's saying something. Do you know where he moved to? No idea. There are people who know, but uh, if your mind wants to lie low, he won't be easy to contact. I'd have guessed as much. Everyone's in hiding. Not everyone, chérie. What do you want him for? I'm trying to track down a friend's movements. Lost, is he? Dead. But he made contact with Bouchard before he... Checked like how blunt she is. Tell you what, there's two guys who used to work at Le Serpent Rouge. So Bouchard didn't lose everybody? No. These two left before the troubles closed the place down. One's a miserable old devil called Bernard who was the janitor there. He hangs about in the park sometimes. And the other one? The other one, Pierre, worked as a barman. Makes bad deals that backfire on him. He runs the cafe at the Place d'Arcade now. Cafe Metro. You never know. Might be worth a shot. Better than anything I have so far. Thanks. I didn't catch your name. Janice. Janice. Everyone knows me around here. Look, be careful, chérie. Bouchard's a mean operator, and he's been targeted hard recently. Does anyone know who's causing Bouchard all this grief, or why? No, or they're not saying. The Monstrum has got everyone too scared to talk. I'd have thought Bouchard would be geared up for trouble. He can handle it all right. No one better. But the way his people has been dying. Mm, so ugly. And that poor so woman. Ugly. What woman? Someone called Carvier. She worked at the Louvre, it said on the radio. I don't want to talk about it. Carvier! Look, you watch out, my chère. There is a lot of sickos loose on the streets. Yeah. That's okay. Some of us like it that way. Ooh. Okay, let's... Could go to the sewers. I like one of those. Wait, I thought that's an item. You make the place look crowded. A cafe is here. I just want to see if there's like some random doors we've never been able to access before. Oh my god. I, I don't... I, have I ever been here? Do you need uh, any help? I'm looking for someone. Name of Bouchard. Hey, Goza. Uh, What's special to you? Herbalists. Uh, we stock medicinal Ooh, potions and. This was in our yeah. It's cracked. never been here. So he isn't a customer of yours. A customer? Uh, no. Would you like to purchase something? I'm told there's a story about a doorman in this area. Do you know it? The doorman is Bouchard's bodyguard. Find him, and I find Bouchard. Yes, probably. What would I need? Money. A password. 
Who would know the right password? I'm afraid I can't help you there. Okay, thanks anyway. The doorman. All right. Have a good night. Thank you. Uh... What's in here? Nothing. Uh, you come up here, right? Oh, you can get into this shit. You can talk to that motherfucker. He's really angry at you, I think. Excuse me. You're not from around here. No. Then leave me alone. I'm busy. busy. Your name's Bernard. Janice said I might find you here. She shouldn't be giving my name out like that. What do you want? I'm busy. Hey! Busy! Take it easy. Dang it. What did she speak to you for? Why did she tell you about me? I'm trying to find someone. Can't help you. Never heard of them. Whoever it is. That's odd. Janice said you worked for him. You mean Bouchard? He may know what happened to a friend of mine. Forget it. Bouchard doesn't like time wasters. Neither do I. So where is he? Undercover. But 160 euro might jog my memory. I'll be back. I'll be back. You will hear about me later. Okay. I'm not gonna go to church, I think. I could go. This guy needs 500, I think, or something. I'm trying to find someone called Bouchard. No one of that name in these parts. He'll want to see me. Then I hope you find him. I remember finding this guy really scary as a kid. I love it so far, yeah. I love it so far. Oh, I don't want to go there. Oh, look at that, the, 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 the shiny bits. I like that. Hmm. Hold on. Allergies are kicking in real strong. I'm just looking any door I can interact with. I can I could go to the pawn shop. I'm gonna go for the um wait, what does this say? No. I mean France I believe. Oh yeah, I think it's pro like Paris, right? Oh, that's a Curtis bike. A family at all? On your Discord, can I find how to install Tumorays properly? Which one of them? You can find TR1 patch for it. Tumorays 2 and 3 patches, I think, are on speedrun.com or Tumorays on Discord, please. Excuse me. And excuse you too. Do you know a Louis Bouchard? I'm a stranger around here. 
Don't let me distract you from your paper. Actually, I, I have high hopes. Maybe getting it, like, somehow implement Curtis better into this game than they did before. Like, an OG. You know? Maybe that's just, like, wet dream, but... Are you Pierre? Possibly. What can I get you? Information. Really? Well, everyone wants something for nothing. It needn't be for nothing. We could trade. Trade? You used to work at the Serpent Rouge. I need to find your ex uh, For tr one Shard. if you have GOG you or Steam version like of the game, you can go to my Discord and then there's a channel called uh, Resources. You can find Tomb Raider 1 ATI Automated Patch. And that gets rid of the DOS box. How would you know? I don't talk to police. With your reputation, you'd be unwise to. What do you... Never mind. You mentioned a trade. What sort of problems do you have? Tomorrow one is the hardest one to make work up? out of the box Difficulties because removed? of the dust box. In exchange for information about Louis Bouchard. Hmm. I have no idea. It's dangerous <laughs> information. I'm a dangerous girl. And right now, I'm losing patience. Okay. I do have a situation that needs tidying. A retrieval job. Okay. Something I forgot to pick up from Le Serpent Rouge when I left in a hurry. It's mine, and I want it back. Why don't you just pick it up yourself? Two guesses. Bouchard? The Monstrum? Don't joke about the Monstrum. Bouchard ran a lot of operations there. The place will be staked out. Just tell me where the item is in the club. It's small. Small enough to fit inside one of the stage lights. The one that doesn't work. That's it? Okay. I can work with that. How do I get into the club? With this. This will get you in behind the stage area at the back. Return what's mine to me here, and I'll put you in touch with Louis Bouchard. I'm sure he'll be glad to hear from you again. He isn't going to. I just tell you where to find him. Then it's up to you. Okay. And if this doesn't work out, I know where to find you. Don't I, Pierre? Hey, I got a key. Talk to me, bitch. Don't mind if I do. I have no idea. <laughs> Um I'm going to go sell my stuff. Let's go, Rene. What's here? Nothing. Open for business. You managed to get in, didn't you? Just checking. I didn't want to waste your time, or mine. Discretion is my middle name. Especially with strangers who just walk in off the street. He looks like... Has anyone seen Ocean 12, I think? It's like the French, like the thief who's dancing through the laser scene. No, why but he looks like him. But you can keep your mouth shut. Depends what's in it for me. Are you, Are buying, you buying or, or selling? selling? How much for these? I can't remember the actor name. I'm gonna sell all this. I have never sold sold anything in this game, so now I'm gonna sell sell them. Oh, look at this. All this from Carvia. Oh, you can even buy shit here. We can buy pistol. What? Is that normal? I have not. I do not remember that. Maybe it's. But then again, when I played on PS2, I didn't know English. One, one word. Yeah, that's new. Yeah, that's what I've... I don't remember seeing it, at least. But you never know. It could have been a crowded place. 
I'm gonna go to sewers, see what we find here. Yeah, that one. Oh, I think this is another entry. Yeah. I do like the echo sound. Such a good one. Okay, we're gonna deal with this that one last. And then go this one first. here is so we're going here oh more money nice I think, is that pistol you can buy that you normally get from like, in the first level, in that little cabinet? I want to go to the other side. She can't kick some doors in, but she can climb like a, a rock climber, which requires insane strength. these allergies like killing me in child you thought you're a giga chad i think we should still think about it we're giga chads finding these places i don't even remember where this leads Oh yeah, this one. So do you want to sell the information for like 160? Or should I buy a pistol instead? I'm gonna uh, save, sell it. Hey Razor, Roy. Control Leave feels alone. really good I'm actually. Busy. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Dude, I have 160. What? Uh, let's go check it. I didn't like, look at it. Well, I can't go back there. Um, uh, let's go. Stop talking, I'm busy. 
I have the biggest Doberman pincher you've ever seen on this side of the gate. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. I'm not gonna go wager because these guys are ass. I'm sure you can do that. Perf. sound is the most impressive to me honestly They're angry. Wait, what? There's an item. I don't remember seeing that one there. Don't mind if I do. I don't remember them talking about an original, but then again, like, maybe there's... Maybe the sound effects are just much better in this one, so it's like, you can actually hear it. He just scratch his asshole. Yo, Frankie! Yeah, it's better version than the or original. Better controls and like, very cool stuff. It's only a demo, but... Keep away from the ring. Nice watch. What? Am I talking too fast for you? Okay, sister. You're leaving now. What about a wager? Yeah? On what? Those boys in the ring. Who wins? What are their names? Is there some guarantee? Look, lady. Come on. What are their names? Okay. Guy with the tattoo, Zack. The one with the headgear is Carl. That's more like it. I bet all the cash in my pocket. Who won with the check? I forgot already. The, the tattoos guys, fighter. right? Do you have 200 jewels, smart mouse? Yes. Okay, you're on. Hey, you two. Lady here wants to bet on you decking each other. Match up. And just be glad I don't make you throw in your fancy gold chain too. Don't push your luck, lady. So, who do you want to lose your money on? Zack looks like a good mover. No, damn it, this is like a Tumor three. Cruel world, eh? Go on, beat it. I just lost it. Hey, lady, keep away from the ring. Nice watch. What? Am I talking too fast for you? Okay, sister. I will win it. it now. What about a wager? Yeah? On what? Those boys in the ring. Hey, girl from Mars. I'm good, I'm good. Hope you're too. Alright, Bianca. Come on. What are their names? 
Okay, guy with the tattoo is Zack. The one with the headgear is Carl. That's more like it. I bet all the cash in my... Do you have to... Yes. Oh, it's Sprint Key. Okay, you're... And... Zack. Okay, let's see. Zack will win, okay? Please, hit him one more. It's like... It's like a high secret compound guard and prisoner fight. Absolutely nothing happens. It's just a hay fever. It's fine. Cruel world, eh? Fuck you. This guy! Hey, lady! Okay, Carl will win this time. Hey, Wolf! <laughs> I think my game crashed because I was skipping them too fast. Yep. Yeah, it ducks. It's still a running. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Hey. Hey, lady. Nice watch. What? Okay, sister. What about a wager? Yeah? On what? Those boys in the ring. Look, lady. Come on, what are the- Okay, guy with the tap. That's more like it. Do you have 200 jewels? Yes. And just be glad I don't- Don't push your luck. My money's on Carl. Okay, Carl will win. This- If- 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 If Carl loses, I'm calling this- Um- Wait, that did it reset the setting somehow? No. Cruel <laughs> world, eh? There's no way. Hey, lady, keep away from the rain. Nice watch. What? Am I talking? Okay, sister. What about a wager? Yeah. On. Those boys okay, who are we winning on? Lady. Come on, what? There's no okay. way Carl will That's lose right. again. Do you have to order a jewel? This is yes. rigged as heck, yeah. And just be glad I don't. Don't push your luck. My money's on. Okay, you can't skip that scene. Okay, I I see now. That that causes the crash. <clears throat> I am winning this shit, though. I am not gonna let some bastard take my money. What? Yeah. Come. Do you have to? Yeah. Oh. Don't push. My money's on Carl. My money's on Carl. Okay, Carl, beat him up. Carl, hit him! Here, take Victory! <laughs> Listen to Lara Croft, police reports. 
now we go to pawn shop, we get money, and we get the pistol. I think that the watch is a loads of money. I believe. How much for these? Okay, sell valuables. Oh boy. Buy a pistol. Thank you very much. Now we just need to find Le Serpent Rouge. Okay, here's the, the signs. Garage. Garage, rather. Let's see. I will find it, don't worry. I mean, I could probably look at the key. Wait, what is this? Oh, this one, yeah. I, I like this one, actually. They added this key, key from the story so far, thingy. Kind of funny. At the back of the club. Maybe here. Emergency exit. Okay, no. I have an idea where it could be. Also, I'm gonna save. If the game I like to play, maybe Rise of the Tomb Raider, but AOD is probably very close. I really like this game. I have no money, so. What about the spare change, Mademoiselle? Oh well. I'm not coming here, just for... I was giving him money, but... Well, it's not my fault. Oh, I mean, I, I liked Underworld. I didn't like it. I don't really like to play it now. There's the key, there's the guy, save, Parisian ghetto. How do you get off that thing? Well, we are not sneaking. We are not. At last, some firepower. Oh, Beagle! To I think. Weapons, Wait, don't you get Beagle from the garage actually? On like the. To fire, press okay. action. With weapon drawn, 
press and hold the look button to lock onto a target. Tap the switch target button to switch between targets. Uh, what's this? Oh, I could have sneaked around. Let's see. I want to see it. Can I sneak? If I take the lights off. Last, some Lost. power. To draw your weapons, press the draw button. Press again and I'll holster them. To fire, press action. With weapon drawn, press and hold the look button to lock onto a target. Tap the switch target button to switch between targets. I am not here. Oh my god, we did it. Not killing, we spared his life. This door is locked. I'll need a key. Okay. So this area has copyright music. It's unfortunate. There's a guy running out of this room. When is she? Wait, what? This door is locked. Oh, and you need I'll a key for this. <laughs> I don't know why they would put a copyrighted music in the game. Like make or your like make your own dubs or some, something. Just an nice an idea. It's I think it's really bad to have it. Why not? May I will just put Skrillex on or something? Wait, is this the where I came from? How did I manage to open the right door instantly? Uh, it's after this like a Parisian uh, ghetto area. When you get to the sewers. I think it's when you escape the... <gasps> yeah, that would be one option. You know, that's quite an annoying sound. <laughs> huh. 
Yeah, definitely. Can you tell the improvements? Yeah, you can instantly tell. Like, look at the menu. Like, 1080p, 60 FPS. <laughs> Here we go. Don't even mind if I do. I don't know if you if you Okay, let's Look at that. Anyone outside? Where's my ammo? It doesn't change. <laughs> Kinda get rid of the copyright music. Well, when I'm uploading it to YouTube. I'll just get rid of this uh, section. That's the that's that's a good email star. Goes really well with the music as well. Like, Pomba is like 10 million times better than the original. Like, 
she doesn't start running on, on her own. Which was a problem before. Yeah, like I, I don't like when the game like have music on and then you can't upload it. shit on me or something. Okay, I don't have ammo. Okay, I do have a two ammo. I'm gonna beat this, guys. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> I have no idea what they're saying. Music will will come soon. I just need to manage to do this jump without falling off. I'm not gonna grab that one. It's gonna be ten days again. What is definitive? It's better version than the original. And make improvements. Hey, off world. Don't load. I'll try not to. What does that key do? I don't remember. Uh. 
This takes me outside, doesn't it? Something maybe. I'm not gonna go there. We need to listen to music, right? I, I do have a local recording on, so. Oh, bottom. Oh, upstairs only cat gets you out. Oh, this one. Banger. Is this the one? This is the wrong one. Now we go, now we start going. <laughs> Motherfucker, put the bridge up. How's it going? We are enjoying music, which is definitely copyrighted. <laughs> Listen music, Shadow. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get a drink, so listen to the music while I do that. Yourself, how's it going? Let the pepper DJs fly in the chat. <laughs> Yo, Dreves, what's up? What's up? <laughs> oh, it goes on top of my camera as well. It's nice. <laughs> so good, man. So good. <laughs> oh, 
Hey, I chef. Yo, hey, kid. Hey, Agnieszka, how did it go? How did he monitor the whole channel from giving me? <laughs> Just by streaming a game. Copyright strike coming. How long is this song? Oh, there's another one. We are listening all this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I think these are added on. When AOD turns into DJ session, then. <laughs> hey, Trickster. Dance, dance, revolution. Now the dance pad would be appropriate. Let's go run, 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 all the way down. Hey Zero Go, welcome. <laughs> Look at the lights going wild. No, this is actually in the game. <laughs> this is crazy that they put this game, this music in this game, like... I wonder if they mute stream instantly, let's see. Have I had to email yet? To Things are going south. Not yet. Is this a new old one now? Yeah, okay, now we we have listened enough music, now we can uh, go back to gameplay. <laughs> yep, we went through whole playlist. I have a locally recorded... Uh, 
I have locally recording this shit, so... Ooh. Curtis is busy. Ooh, guard's dead. It was nice that the whole chat was like... Also, it annoys me. Dude, where's my... Okay. Well, I just wanted to see this again. Meow. Just move my cam. I know it's a bit late, maybe, but. Is the game working? The <laughs> game probably crashed. <laughs> much rave yeah cut scene did I not save maybe I didn't oh, I didn't oh that annoyed me actually the controls are set to camera related instantly what is this key for by the way I don't know you. I hope you enjoy this cutscene again. <laughs> Let's go in. There would be money. I don't want to climb up again. And honestly, I think we have seen the goddamn cutscene multiple times enough. Well, well, someone's been very careless. See Paris and die. Exactly. <sighs> Yeah, 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 I like to use that way instead of, uh... Okay, so, 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 let's see. any of these yet. Hold on, I need to get the box to the cafe, yes. I remember. Okay. 
Oh, don't did you everything go okay? It's quiet in here. Your voice really carries. Don't mess me about. <laughs> you were right about the place being staked out. There were gunmen all over it's the place. Great dishonor you got my ancestors <gasps> and my god. But okay. Now, Loving the rave vibes a today. A little matter ha, of Bouchard's ha. whereabouts. Yo, Syrupy yes, Pancake. Thanks, uh, 10 euros. Thank you thank aren't you. going to disappoint me, are you? Appreciate that. You don't want to see my uh, thank dangerous you. side? No. It's just that someone else was asking for him. Just after you left. Asking for Bouchard? Yes. The customer who was said Yeah, it was corner, fucking Curtis, in his man. Paper. I couldn't tell him anything, naturally. But he may have overheard us. <laughs> you know, you talk real loud. It's hard not to notice it. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Are we going to deal? Only if you behave. All right. Bouchard is lying low. I know someone who can show you where. You can trust them? This person you know? Just about. Name of Francine. She's my ex. Reassuring. This is her address. And the code for the gate. And she can point me to Bouchard? You sure? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> She knows a discreet route to the back of the premises. Discreet? Translation. Dangerous. Dangerous. Nothing in Paris is safe. This, this is why I don't go back to Paris. Like, you can go. just run into Monstrum and Please. Bouchard it's it's just arranged. randomly. She's expecting you. I hope this arrangement works out, Pierre. I'd hate for you to become a personal problem that I have to come back and tidy up. I don't remember if I've ever done his like, route. Actually, I don't think I have. Uh, I had a really bad day at work. Feels bad, man. Well, glad that uh, the raves were. <laughs> I didn't expect the raves being a thing in this game, honestly. Like that kind of ones. Reflection? No. I forgot. I thought I memorized it already. 28594. 285. 285. Please come again. 28. Uh, nine, four. Delford did everything opposite, so that's correct. Yeah, it automatically pressed one when I clicked the action. Blame the game. Yo, Pasix, thanks for four months. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing good. We, we've had done quite a lot today. I did like, three hours of Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, Pacifist, and now this one. Bouchard is in the old church. You need to find the mausoleum in the churchyard. It leads Welcome back, Pianka. into the church basement. Is this the best way? It's the only you way missed the best the part. Watch out for the ledges. They are dangerous. Where isn't these days? Welcome to Paris. You missed the music. Like, there's actually like banger songs. <laughs> like, actually like... <laughs> no, I didn't sing. I'm not a singer type. Oh my god, boy, away from here. It's a slave. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat, yeah. You wanna see a cool speedrun strat? Ah! 
and say what's the end outcome. This works. <laughs> Easy. Uh, I can't move. Why is she not moving? Is there something down there? I don't remember. I do have a feeling there is something. We are taking a look at it. It's a probably angry dog. I'm a dog. Well, I'm glad it doesn't give me shotgun shells because like I don't even have a shotgun in like three months. What is double denim even? I'm not into that fashion shite. Okay. What is denim though? Is it like this this kind of like type of jean stuff? Uh, sounds too hippo. I mean hippie. Okay, let's see. A place with atmosphere. There's something here in OG. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I've been streaming like since 2 uh, two p.m. It's been a, quite a good day. There's an angry dog here, I know for sure, but I don't remember where it triggers. Hello? I didn't want- Okay. I was hoping the game gives you like, you are not strong enough and then you could go back to it. Where did I lose my crowbar, though? I like the colors, they're pretty bright, yeah. Okay, let's see. Can you still do the crouch jump? You can. Nice. So if you crouch and then hold up and jump, you get the instantly running jump. Anything in here? Nope. Nope. I'm strong in now. I'm not strong enough. They didn't change that one. Game. But 
But isn't that like feel stronger now an original? And then you get in here, and then you are able to move that statue. It's other way around in this one. Okay, we get to the uh, you almost there. Yeah, that's what I remember from Clitchless. Are these rats annoying as well? Water down there looks deep enough to swim in. To swim underwater, use the jump key to stroke forward and the cursor keys to guide me. To climb out at the water's edge, uh, down, I don't know. Sometimes it's a bit silly, but like, yeah. Let's see, did they fix the rats? The way they attack you? Or did they remove the rats here? Because there's rats in the original here and then like they just hit you and then interrupt your crouch completely or crawl. I wanna see if there's anything here. Are you okay, guys? Nope. I would- I- like, if I could give feedback somehow, I would love to have a streamer mode and then like, offline casual mode, or just change the music to non-copyright one. So I don't want to get striked because I played a goddamn video game. He was always so scary when I was a kid. Okay, Bouchard. Time to party. Clip here. Dude, this must have taken so much work. J'ai trouvé une espionne, Bouchard. Oh. Dis-lui que je suis occupé et fou là-dehors. The types you have to deal with these days. Are we close? I think so. You trigger the thing instantly here, normally. What happened to your man in the room out there, Bouchard? To Arno? You've got something to say about that? Look at his forehead. Maybe. It might be linked to what happened to a friend of mine. I doubt it. Get her out of here. Do you know the name Eckhart? Never heard of him. Okay. You helped a friend of mine a while back. Werner von Croy. Names don't mean a lot here. Even real ones. What did he want? Maps and information on the Louvre. I remember. Four weeks ago. Wanted to take a coachload of Japanese tourists to see the Mona Lisa. Easy Bouchard. Easy Bouchard. I lost that friend yesterday. Now I'm wanted for his murder. There was a newscast about a monstrum killing earlier. What would you know about that? 
Nothing that would interest you. You'd be surprised how much the Monstrum interests me. My friend? The Louvre? Yes, the Academic. Wanted access to recent archaeological diggings inside the Louvre. I gave him contact. You want the same? And more. I need nine million. Imagine if they could like put the story, like the trilogy, which was supposed to be. Paris isn't safe these Even with like the similar Louvre. way as the you obviously story can't so far. Yourself. And tied up what I need? somehow. I know who does. Daniel Ren works out. Even if the script would be like super the rough, then just and fill out and in. create the fucking blanks. What would you suggest? A trade. I have to get certain things into his hands. Passports. You could deliver them for me. Passports? Check passports. Nothing to dirty your hand with. It's a business arrangement. For which he would give me what I need. Le fresh the right chefs. Price, <laughs> the passports will prove you come through me. What happened to your man in the sick room back there? Was he delivering packages for you too? Poor Arno. One of my toughest. The only survivor of four attacks so far. Attacks? By who? An interesting question. We don't know for sure yet. Yet. The Paris Monstrum, perhaps. We're looking into that. You should take care. An automatic would help. You sold my friend Von Croy some hardware. I need the same. That was then. We need all the firepower we can get. Ren is your man. Is it a deal? Okay, deal. That really makes no sense because like, you can actually buy the gun from Rene rather than the fucking. Also, we need to do some testing. You know? We go back. A types you have to deal with these days. What happened to your man? To arm? Maybe. I doubt. Do you know? Never heard of. Okay. Name? Maps in. Mar Don't joke me around, Bouchard. I lost that friend yesterday. You better watch your mouth, Lee. I'll watch nothing. I'm sick of your Parisian lowlife ways. I need results. Careful, Vixen. You don't need things to get any worse. And how will that happen? You'll set these pussycats on me, right? Ooh. Wrong. I'll take your cats. Was that in original as well? I just wanted to see if that. Welcome to Paris. Welcome to Paris. Yeah, I just wanted to see that. If... Oh, I need to open the stupid thing. I forgot. You know, it's a close. Yeah, we cleaned this place. We actually won. That boxing fight was so rigged. Now we need to go to Rene, and I think it's over after that. He looks so evil. Well, 
Well, we got the passports in, you know. Dude. Oh, I could have sell this one too. 247? Holy crap. Ripping loads of money and pistol ammo. Crap, 14529. Look at him. Hey, Chaos Light. No. They. Uh, I mean, on, in original it is, but in this one, you can actually buy a pistol from this guy for uh, 1,000 euros and then 100 euros per clip for ammo. Before he dies, of course. But yeah, you can actually buy stuff with the money. Yeah, it's very f cool. His mouth, I didn't check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rip Rene. Dead. One f what was it? One four and five two nine, I think. Yeah. Perfect. There's everything I could need here. It feels like Christmas. Verna obviously never had chance to collect it. Oh my god, the bomb is going off. I remember panicking in this part. Yeah, it's everything on the shelf. Can you go here? Oh my god, I could actually scare it. <laughs> Okay, you can't wait anything. Yeah, you fire it. Oh, okay, never mind. No more fire. I will look forward because that was actually loads of fun. That was an extremely good job. Just a shame on the Esteemed copyright music. Members, the hour of your reward comes ever closer. As you know, we already possess three of the obscure paintings. Our contact, Professor Von Croy, located the fourth one for us here in Paris. When we have this, we will reassemble in Prague. It is time to awaken the sleeper. Hopefully, we will be more successful this time. You can see it like this, going back to the old one. We are also closer to the fifth. I think this is the, the old version, like, like the normal version now. Right. The graphics and stuff. We will gather at the Strahov. Gunnison! Strahov! Is in far! <laughs> Master Eckhart. Dispatch your team for the fourth painting. 
Immediately. Jack Nicholson. Actually, yeah. That's lo yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to like make the connection a little bit. Nice. Well, that was it, man. That was it. Good stuff. Actually, loads of fun. I can't wait to play it fully again, like, when the game actually was fully released. What's the extras here? Trailer. De developer. Quickly, girl, before it collapses around you. What's this? When we last saw Lara Croft in the hit Tomb Raider series, it seemed like the end had come for the popular heroine. She had a, a very, very near scrape with death in uh, at the end of the last revelation. The temple collapsed around her and her body's been missing, presumed dead, so... We wanted to, to leave uh, the viewing public on a sort of cliffhanger. Uh, did she die? Didn't she die? And us saying that she was lost, presumed dead, was, was a way for us to sort of get Laura to refocus on her own life, you know, look back into herself about her, her priorities, what's important. So, um, so needless to say, she is, uh, she is alive and well and uh, she's going to be coming out guns a blazing. Weren't they supposed to kill her on a forest? Yeah, that's what I heard as well. Laura returns in Tomb Raider, the Angel of Darkness, which continues from the end of the last Tomb Raider game. But we've just started off as Lara's been taken to Paris. She got called from Von Croy, and she finds him dead. And she's suddenly framed with murder. And she's on the run from the French police, and there's a whole new scenario instead of the usual Tomb Raider thing. And very soon, everything that's been there for Laura, being famous, you know, people recognizing her, being this face around the world, it all works against her because Wait, wasn't everybody like Carol loves the or something she's like a really OG glitch hunter as who well. Who actually did kill Von Croy. That sort of leads her into a much deeper like storyline. It's not just a crazed psychopath, it's a 15th century alchemist who's doing these ritual killings to rule the world and she's got to clear her name by destroying him. I mean, I think that di this... So far, I love the demo one. Like, obviously it doesn't... It hasn't added much yet, like... But it has made... It makes more sense. As to find Von Croy's killer, she finds that her ordeals have weakened her, and that she needs to build up her strength and skills again. She was really weakened um, at the tomb in Egypt. I didn't... I haven't so heard this before. The this was my logic as well. She got hurt so a, badly. Giving her the the abilities that she once had. I have never uh, heard this lost. interview. We shall have Maybe they will confirm that the floating island wasn't real. Strength. So as the game progresses, you'll find that she can perform longer jumps or she can hang on to monkey swings longer and go over parts that she couldn't have done previously. The Laura that you play potentially will be a different Laura to my Laura. I may be able to run a little bit faster with Laura and I can get through that door that's always shutting, whereas you haven't quite honed those skills. And can't get to that door, but you might be able to climb better than me. So you can I can see what they get went for, but like that I can't get to. We've also added more moves. She can do proper stealth moves now. She's no. got a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat in there, punching, kicking. Um, she can sneak around corners. She can take enemies out and then sort of hide again. You're one-man gaming. Welcome. If you want to play, like I recommend playing in this uh, demo if you can. Part of it was a lot of fun. It's way better than the original. For Lara was it's not the fully yet. The PlayStation but... 2. They further tapped this potential to develop a host of other improvements that will push Lara's adventures to the next level. Everything yeah, two pistols goes up to a new level that nobody will have seen before. If only we could get that. To do so much more with the PS2. Lara's 8,000 polygons. PS1 version, she was 600. So we've been able to add a, a whole new dimension of detail to her. She, she will actually lip sync when she talks to characters. They'll actually, you know, have full facial expressions and lip sync back, back at Lara. I'm doing good, I'm good. I enjoyed this demo a lot, actually. Positively the surprised. The game it is a lot darker than previous games, as in the storyline is much more sinister. So the mood and the atmosphere is, is something um, that we've been very keen to create. I think that lends itself to the lighting system. So we've, we've tried to beef up the lighting a lot by adding the shadow maps. In certain areas, we've got really very realistic um, shadows casting across the floor from objects, from Lara. Very interesting Other way of how they... Everything yeah. casts shadows onto everything. It makes a hell of a difference.
As Lara struggles to determine what's happened to Von Croy, she runs into a new character in the Tomb Raider series, a character who's an integral part of the game. His name is Curtis, and uh, he is the coolest character. That's what I thought ever. of, Will. But He's uh, a member of an ancient sect of knights called the Lux Veritatis. Oh, the Lux Veritatis. They've sort of got uh, paranormal powers, and basically he's a demon hunter. We wanted Wait, what? To be quite a different I never knew that about Lara. him. Um, it's going to be quite an interesting sort of love-hate relationship that they have initially because Curtis is there in this game and, and he's always one step ahead of Lara. He's, he's almost like the thorn on her side. He seems to be on his own mission, has his own agenda, but he's always just there one, one stage ahead of her. So they don't like each other at all and it's not till later on in the game that they sort of get uh, to work as a team. Yeah, 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 it was fresh, of course. But it's just like uh, it's kind of interesting what the idea was like. If what One if of the basically the Tomb Raider series has always been the creative use of puzzles in the game, and Angel of Darkness is no exception. And as we have looked at what people have enjoyed playing in Tomb Raider, it has actually been that sort of hard edge puzzles. It's been that standing there, knowing where you've got to go, but trying to work out how to solve that puzzle. Also, we've got those sudden death sort of things where if you just don't get it right, she begins to fall. You know, you've got that timing just to grab that ledge or grab that precipice just before she plummets to her death. Yeah, the, I Tomb see, it's, the it sounds like the it's supposed to be a really crazy... Croft, one that the game's creators have already mapped out. The story within this game doesn't end within this exactly. game. And, and this is very much, a, 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 you know, the first few chapters of the book, if you like. There's a lot of unanswered questions. If only that someone could like make the story end or like titles. finish it, would be amazing. It sounds like the team at Core have plenty of adventures in store for us in the future. Be sure to check out the start of this new era for Lara Croft when Tomb Raider: The Angel of Darkness hits stores late April. Interesting. But yeah. Uh, display capture off. 